Hello students, as we discussed about chemical reactions in which reactants are converted into product. From a given reaction mixture, there may be a reagent or a reactant which can be called as limiting reagent. So let us discuss which reagent is called as limiting reagent and why it is called as limiting reagent. Let us discuss through an example. Let us take hydrochloric acid in a conical flask in which we have added calcium carbonate. We know that when HCl react with calcium carbonate give rise to calcium chloride, water and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a gas that means there will be a a formation of effervescence here because the gases is moves out through the form of effervescence so we can find effervescence when calcium carbonate is added in HCl but after some time we find that there will be no effervescence no effervescence so we will think that um, the reaction is over and there is no further formation of effervescence. Even though when we add extra HCl in this, but still we find that there will be no formation of effervescence. That means the substance in a mixture are not present exactly in the same amount as required by the balanced chemical equation. That means in this reaction, one of the reagent is taken in limited amount. We can say that is calcium carbonate. Because the calcium carbon is over, is finished, but still there is further HCl is present. But still there will be no reaction because the calcium carbonate is consumed completely in the reaction. So we can say that calcium carbonate is called as a reagent which is limiting the reaction. So we can call it as a limiting reagent in this case. And the reagent which is present in excess that is called as excess reagent. So in this example we find that when the reaction takes place when the reaction reagents are one of the reagent is taken in excess that is HCl and calcium carbonate is actually limiting the reaction or we can say which is completely consumed when a reaction goes to completion is called as limiting reagent or limiting reactant and the reagent which is present in excess is called as excess reagent. Let us take one more example. In this example, we know that when the hydrogen reacts with the oxygen give rise to water. That means two moles of hydrogen react with one mole of oxygen give rise to two mole of water. Let we have taken a mixture that is a reaction mixture we have taken two moles of hydrogen and two moles of oxygen. But when you look at the equation according to the balance equation two mole of hydrogen is reacting with one mole of oxygen. So that means from two moles of hydrogen and one mole of oxygen is only reacting that means according to the balance equation two moles are of hydrogen react with one mole of oxygen but in the reaction mixture we have taken two two moles of each so from this two two mole only the two moles of hydrogen react with one mole of oxygen then that means there is one oxygen is remaining here one oxygen one mole of oxygen molecule is remaining. So this is not taking part in the chemical reaction because according to the chemical reaction 
only the two moles of hydrogen can react with one mole of oxygen so because of this reason we can say that in the reaction mixture one of the reagent is not reacting that means we can say it is left unreacted so which one is left here that means this part this part is reacting two moles of hydrogen is reacting with one mole of oxygen and this one is left unreacted so we can say that oxygen is present in excess because after the completion of the reaction oxygen is left behind and here in this reaction mixture hydrogen is completely consumed you can see hydrogen molecule is completely consumed now there is no h2 remains in the mixture so we can say that this is the limiting reagent that means the reagent which is completely consumed when a reaction goes to completion and there is a formation of two water molecule so it shows that uh, the substance in a mixture are not present in exactly the same amount as required by the balanced chemical equation maybe the reagent will be one of the reagent will be in excess one of the reagent will be in the limiting value so the reagent which is completely consumed in the reaction is called as limiting reagent and the reagent which is present in excess is called as excess reagent so let us define limiting reagent the reactant which completely consumed when a reaction goes to completion is called the limiting reagent or limiting reactant and the other reactant which is present in excess would be left unreacted it is called as excess reagent let us do a question based on limiting reagent in the reaction the question is given in the reaction a plus b2 give rise to ab2 identify the limiting reagent in any of the following reaction mixture so here some reaction mixtures are given so according to the balance equation we have to check that which one is in the excess which one is in the limiting reagent so let us do this one by one first one here a is given has 300 atoms and b2 is given 200 molecules so according to the equation when you check the balance equation one atom one atom a combines with the one molecule of b because a is atom here b is molecule so one atom of a react with one molecule of b give rise to one molecule of a2 so here what is the ratio here all are in one is to one one ratio that means one of this a react with one of b b2 give rise to a b2 so if one atom react with the one atom of a react with one molecule of b2 but what is given here 300 atom of a and 200 molecule of b so 300 atom a in order to require in order to react it must need 300 molecule of b2 but there is only 200 molecule is present so that means which is present in excess that means when you compare this value 200 is given and but 300 can react with 300 molecule so that means we can say this is limiting because this is will get completely over and this one is in excess so which one is a limiting reagent here 
So in the case of 300 atoms of A and 200 molecules of B, we can say that B is the limiting reagent. B is the limiting reagent and A is in excess. Next case, that is A plus B2 give rise to AB2, same equation, but the condition, the reaction mixture is given 100 atom of A and 100 molecule of B. That is the third part of the problem, in this problem. According to the balance equation, one atom of A react with one molecule of B2. So, Two atom can react with two molecule of B2. So similarly, 100 atom can react with 100 molecules of BT. That means in this mixture, there are equal numbers of A and B2 is given. That means all the 100 atoms of A react with all the 100 molecules of B. So in this case, there will be no limiting reagent and there is no excess means whatever it is given it is given in the exactly in the same amount which is required by the balanced chemical equation so we can say that in this there is no limiting reagent and no reagent is in excess next case that is the reaction mixture given 2 mole of A and 3 mole of B. So when you find the reaction here, according to the balance equation, 1 mole can react with 1 mole of A react with 1 mole of B2. But what is given in the reaction mixture? 2 mole of A and 3 mole of this. That means 2 mole of A can react with 2 mole of B. That means in this case 2 mole of A is reacting with 2 mole of B2. That means when you check the value this value is greater than the 2. That means here 1 will be 1 is the extra. So from the reaction measure only 2 mole of A can react with 2 mole of B2. That means there is one mole extra in the case of molecule B. So we can say that the limiting reagent here is this and this is in excess. That means during this reaction A completely get consumed but one mole of B remains in the solution. Therefore B is the excess and A is the limiting reagent. Let us take the next one. 5 mole of A and 2.5 mole of B is given. We have to find out uh, which one is the limiting reagent. As according to the equation, 1 mole of this can react with uh, 1 mole of this. So 5 mole of A is given. So 5 mole of A can react with only 5 mole of B. But what is given here? 2.5 mole of B is given. That means which is in excess here? 5 is excess. We can say this is given excess. Since there is only 2.5 mole of B is present, therefore only 2.5 mole of a can react with 2.5 mole of B. So give rise to 2.5 mole of AB2. So which one is limiting here? That is B2 is limiting and A is in excess. The next case. In this reaction, the reaction mission is given 2.5 mole of A and 2.5 mole of B. So, as 1 mole can react with the 1 mole of B2, so 2.5 mole can react with 2.5 mole of B2, so give rise to 
2.5 mole of AB2. So we can say that in this there is no limiting reagent, no reagent is in excess because in this reaction mixture the substances are present exactly in the same amount as required by the balanced chemical equation. So there is no limiting reagent and no excess reagent. So you can check your answers here. So in the first you can find that B is the limiting reagent. Second part A is the limiting reagent. And in the third case third case that is 100 atom of A and 100 molecule of B we can say that both react completely so there is no reagent left in excess and there is no limiting reagent. In fourth part you can find that from 5 mole of A and 2.5 of mole of B 2.5 mole of B will react with 2.5 mole of A hence B is the limiting reagent. In the fifth part 2.5 mole of A and 5 mole of B from this we can say that uh, which is the limiting reagent 2.5 mole of A will react with 2.5 mole of B hence A is the limiting reagent. So in this uh, we have discussed about limiting reagent and uh, by the help of example we got an idea. Uh, how to find out a limiting reagent so all of you try this in this way so that you can easily identify the limiting reagent and the reagent which is present in excess problems of this is discussed here and further problems will be discussed in next videos thank you everyone